Will Mush is back in an on-field position, this time at the University of Georgia. Scott Cochran, former Alabama strength coach, is taking a leave of absence from the Georgia Bulldogs. The statement released from head coach Kirby Smart down in Georgia said, Coach Cochran is currently dealing with health issues and is taking time to prioritize his mental health and well-being. We fully support him as he takes this time to focus on his well-being. And with that said, Dan Lanning spoke with the media on Tuesday, today, and he said that while Muschamp is filling in for special teams coordinator Scott Cochran, uh, during that absence, since he will have an on-field role, he is able to recruit, et cetera, et cetera, he will also be in the defensive meeting rooms. He said, Lanning said, I definitely think he will be involved on defense. Said he's going to be in there. He is going to, he's going to be a part of this defensive staff. So Will Muschamp goes from being the head coach of the South Carolina Gamecocks to being an analyst at Georgia, now to being the special teams coordinator, quote unquote. And now he is, he's going to be in the defensive room with Kirby Smart and Dan Lanning. I... Don't even know what to say about this. There were rumors about the Scott Cochran thing going on all weekend. Seth Emerson over at The Athletic is the first one that actually reported it. He covers Georgia for them. And I I don't know if this is, you know, obviously if somebody's dealing with mental health stuff, and it's become a much bigger thing lately. People are are more willing to admit when they have got issues, which I think is good. I'm curious if this is... if there's something else at play here, do you feel like there's anything else at play or is this just, you know, Cochran needed a break and wanted to, to go and handle himself and now they've just, they happen to have Will Muschamp on staff? I I think they said that he's doing this for health reasons and yeah. then later said for mental health, like, as well. I, I, I think he's got a health, I think he has a medical issue, okay? That's what I think he has, which is personal and, and there's none of our business. But I think he has a medical issue that he's dealing with. And we don't know what that could possibly be. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I am surprised that they were able to keep it this quiet. They honestly did not want to say anything until... It's a special teams coach. You're surprised that they can keep that quiet. Who the hell's digging into his life? Well, it's because he's such a, a high-profile character, right? That's that's the biggest issue because Cochran... He's a special teams coach. Yes, he's a special teams coach, but he's also... At this past year, he was one of their best recruiters, from what I understand, or at least from what I've been told. And yeah, but nobody knows anything about the personal life of any of the recruiters that are the best recruiters on the team. Oh no, no, no! no. I was NFL talking about players. I was talking about keeping uh, the fact that that Cochran was not there. Quite apparently, he is. He's been gone for a little bit. I, I wasn't saying the personal stuff oh. with him. Quiet. I was talking about the fact that he was gone. Quiet. And they they wanted to not even let it be known necessarily until Kirby started getting asked questions about it at the press conference. So at that point, then he, it was a very short statement. You know, he's dealing with health issues, taking time to prioritize uh, prioritize his mental health and well-being. We fully support him as he takes this time to focus on his well-being. Uh, Hopefully, everything ends up okay. You know, Ed Cochran is uh, beloved in this conference. Everybody knows who he is. He's, you know, the yeah, yeah, yeah guy from Saban staff that jumped over to Georgia 